Hey everybody, so here's the lesson on 2.5, linear factors and multiplicity. I'm gonna go ahead and cover just this first section here, finding the zeros of a polynomial using the zero product property. <clears throat> so what that basically means, the zero product property. You wanna have your polynomial, your, your function, written in its factored form. You don't wanna have it in standard form. If it's in standard form, then you're gonna go ahead and factor it apart so that you can have these separate individual expressions. The zero product property means that you're gonna take each one of these individual expressions, one, two, three, and you're gonna set each one of them equal to zero and then solve that equation. So here we go. I'm gonna take the first expression, the two x, and I'm gonna set that equal to zero. Then I wanna take the next expression, x plus two, and I wanna set that equal to zero. And the last one, the 2x minus 1, set that equal to 0. <clears throat> and then we're going to go ahead and solve all three of these. Now, if I were to solve this, I would divide by 2, and I would get x equals 0. So there's one of our zeros. To solve this one, I would subtract 2 to both sides, which would give me x equals negative 2. There's another one of our zeros. And then last, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually add one to both sides, and that would give me 2x equals positive 1. And then I divide by the 2, and 1 doesn't divide by 2 evenly, so we would just leave it as that fraction of x equals 1 over 2, or 1 half. And that's your last zero. So if you wanted to write that all in one line or just in one one way instead of having three separates you could say x equals zero comma negative two comma one half those are your three zeros for the next one oop, yeah the next one you set the two equal to zero x minus five equal to zero and x plus one equal to zero this doesn't have a variable. There's nothing to solve for. In fact, that's also not a true statement. 2 is not equal to 0. In fact, 2 is needing to be written like this. 2 is not equal to 0. That's, that's no solution. That doesn't work. There's nothing to do there, which means you just eliminate it. Here we set x minus 5 equal to 0, and here we set x plus 1 equal to 0. <clears throat> Solving this one, we want to add 5 to both sides, and you would get x equals positive 5. Solving this one, subtract 1 to both sides, and you would get x equals negative 1. And those are your zeros. 5, comma, negative 1. And the last one here. Set each expression equal to 0. x minus 3 equals 0. x minus 3 equals 0. 4x plus 5 equals 0. And when you solve each one, here you would add 3 to both sides and get x equals 3. Here you would add 3 to both sides and get x equals 3. And here you would subtract 5 to the other side, getting 4x equals negative 5. And then you'd divide by 4. It wouldn't divide evenly, and so therefore you would get x equals negative 5 over 4. And those are your three zeros, which you don't really need to write the three twice. You just write the three once, and then negative 5 over 4. And that's it.